Welcome basketball fans, it's Saturday afternoon and you're watching the NBA on 2K Sports. With Greg Anthony and Hall of Famer Doris Burke, this is Kevin Harlan. And joining us on the sidelines, another Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. D.A., take it away. Thank you, Kevin. LeBron James is tied for the third most MVP awards all time. He's also tied for the most second place finishes. Frank Vogel said it's a mistake to go season after season without voting the best player in the league as MVP. LeBron says, I should have more than four, but I don't cry about it. I've had a lot of the greats feel the same. Kevin? They probably do, and we certainly know how LeBron feels. David, thank you. Let's see some of the numbers here for LeBron James. And he's gone dry over the past 10 games, guys. His scoring is way down, and he can't seem to fight his way out of the slump. He better get it going tonight, or they'll start losing patience with him. Now let's check out our starters for the Los Angeles Lakers. And they have their big three all out there. Westbrook at the point with LeBron and Davis at the forward. Avery Bradley is out there with Jordan. And for the Nets, the post pair, Durant, along with Griffin. Harden out there with Mills, and it's Bembry in at the small forward. And both teams tonight, Greg, can go deep into their benches. It seems like a growing trend. Yeah, I think teams are digging deeper more than ever before, and even getting into two-way contracts that give you depth past your top 15 guys. And then Durant with the jam. AD is a force of nature. Sensational dunk at the rim. Side Westbrook pass to James. That's good, and so Westbrook comes up with the assist. Yeah, and once he got to the 10, I think Westbrook. he was surprised to find himself that wide open. I think defensively, that is not the way you want to start. Giving up high percentage looks, that doesn't typically end well. Durant, no good. And here's James, he'll bring it up for the Lakers. And the great thing about Durant, he gives you a lot of everything. Yeah, it goes way beyond being versatile. This guy is a great shooter, an elite historical scorer, rebounder, passer, shot blocker, one of the most complete players in the history of the game. How many times have we seen DeAndre Jordan take it off the window and convert? Boy, he is so good. So it looks like the Nets will retain possession here. Stay here for Brooklyn Ball. A minute 42 left in the first quarter of the game. Mills finds Harden. Here's Griffin. Don't you love that A.B. wants to contest every shot? This guy puts his speed to such good use. And there's the pass to LeBron. And finished off by LeBron. Well, not exactly one of those big, burly power forwards, right? He depends on his leaping ability more than those guys. And it serves him just fine. Now, here's Durant. He is averaging just around 28 and a half points a game. So many offensive skills in his toolkit. Right now, trying to get into a rhythm. But so far this quarter, boy, he is struggling to make anything go down. Last outing for the Nets. They won that game against Minnesota. Uh, they played terrific defensively. The few cracks they showed, guys were quick to rotate and help each other out about multiple efforts on the defensive end and I thought boy that was good old-fashioned focus team effort what a win down to five on the shot clock the Nets have gotten only one of six shots to drop for them to start this game to stop the crowds that one doesn't drop I'll tell you a rough quarter for him and that puts so much pressure on the guys around him Bradley passes to LeBron Twelve seconds left to play in the first quarter. Let's go. Beats the shot clock, but can't get it to fall. And we reach the end of the first quarter. Lakers lead by four. And we'll be back in just a moment with the start of the second quarter.
And he's thin, six foot nine, but without question, LeBron James is the floor general for his team. I have the freedom to call sets, you know, whatever I feel best suit our team. I'm a smart, cerebral basketball player. Um, my basketball IQ is very high, and I take that very seriously. So I know what best suits our team, and our coaching staff does as well. And great for all of his athletic gifts. Very few players have thought the game as well as LeBron here. And they listed him at point guard in his 17th season. But it's all semantics at this point. He's always been the best decision maker on any team he's played on. And for those of you just tuning in, the second quarter of action is where we're at right now. And take a look at Los Angeles' performance here. What have they been doing or not doing? Guys, I love their defense in that first period. They were in position and just challenging shots. Well, I think they combined great intelligence with great effort, and you can see the results. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Here's the second quarter of play, setting the floor for the Nets. They've got Bruce Brown. Aldridge out there with Johnson. Then it's Harden, and it's Carter, and it's the two spot. And inside Harden is such a difficult cover. Get too close, and you know he'll cleverly draw a foul. Hondo dishes to Howard. Monk with the ball. Harder on him. He's off on that one. So Brooklyn will take it the other way. And this matchup with the Lake, it's their first meeting of the season. And you have to love it when there's a matchup like this. Two teams that are at the top of their respective conferences going at it. And the fact that they split their two meetings last season does one try to get a leg up. It's a chance now to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Hall of Famer David Aldrin. Thank you, Kevin. Anthony Davis, of course, is a superstar at both ends of the court. Brown James says his ability to guard anybody on the floor, one through five, takes a challenge to guard on the perimeter and continue to protect the paint. It's hard to score on him. Guys? PA, he is elite in every way. As are you. Thank you. Here is Carter. After Rajon Rondo's bucket, Carter the best to Harden. Rebounded by Howard. And the rebound battle split evenly thus far. Rondo looking over the floor. Here's Anthony. And no good that time. And Brooklyn will now go the other way with it. Carter outside. Takes it inside. Good on the bucket. Well, that possession to me highlights the importance of creating for your teammates. We'll see if they want to trade two for one here. You've got to time up that clock to do so. Pass to Monk. Nice ball movement here by the Lakers. Here's Anthony. And the shot falls short this time. For Brooklyn, they've gone three of four from the floor here in the second quarter. Johnson finds Harden. 12 seconds left in the first half. Into the lane. And sent back by Howard. Uh, Dwight Howard at Marcus. his best, sending it back. And that's it for the first half of action. What's been a very close game here? It's the Nets leading by just two. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by Corson. David. Thank you, Kevin. Here with Frank Vogel. Coach, your team is down at the half. What has to change? Well, it's still early in the game. Okay, we're a little bit out of sync offensively. We just got to get into a rhythm. Good passes lead to good offense. Thanks, Coach. Back to you, Kevin. All right, Dave, thank you. And time now for the halftime break with the third quarter soon to follow right here on 2K Sports. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. It is a good game we have here after one half of play. Everybody, welcome back for our halftime show. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, and Kenny Smith. Brooklyn found themselves in a close game in the first. And they kept it close, trailing by, at the most, four points. It took them a little while to get going, but you love what they did in the second quarter, ending with a two-point lead. 
And from what we saw so far from the Nets, Kenny, what's your takeaway? There's been a ton of energy in this building tonight. And the way this one's going, they're going to need the energy down the stretch. It's a tight ball game, and their fans know how to give them a lift when they need it. Shaq, your take on the Lakers. Give them credit for keeping the score this close while shooting just over 30 percent In a backhanded way, kind of gives you confidence. But you know if you bring your percentage up just a little bit, it'll be enough to get you in front. <laughs> and that'll do it for our halftime report. Stay tuned for the second half. About to get underway. We saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during the half. Taking a look at Los Angeles. And they have their big three all out there. Westbrook at the point with LeBron and Davis at the forward. Jordan is out there with Avery Bradley. Here's Westbrook. And it's Durant with the rebound. And so it's KD with it. He brings up the ball for the Brooklyn Nets. A two-point game. Harden and the layup fall. Harden. Harden's got the first bucket of the third here for the Nets. They are just killing them on the interior. Now here's James. He's tightly guarded. Jordan finds James. Six on the shot clock. And they double up James. Here's Jordan. And it's Griffin with the rebound. Nets leading by four. Third quarter. Here's Mills. The offensive rebound. The Lakers shoot that is 29% in this game. They are not a pretty side out there offensively. And it's Jordan with the jam. Well, we've seen this one or two times, have we not? DeAndre Jordan finishing end of the alley oop nice. Mills looking it over. Here's Harden. It doesn't go for him. Bradley with some nice D. And this is year one of LeBron's two-year $85 million extension. And hammer it home! Hammer it home, baby! That is authority right there. It was. <laughs> An outstanding defensive play to earn the Mobile One block. And that is a huge block. Given how close this game is, a stop like that was right on point. And that one's good. Durant. Chris jumpers. They might as well be layups from Kevin Durant. That's his comfort zone. LeBron outside. He takes it in. A shot off that time. And it's the Nets taking it the other way. Katie against Davis. And stolen by Jordan. Outside Brent. In the corner, it's Westbrook. Hits the three-point bomb. Russell Westbrook. Westbrook's got five. Three. I love how Westbrook rises and fires immediately. Ball touches his hands, and it's gone before you can blink. Two seconds separate in the shot clock and game clock. Harden scanning the floor. Pocket six. Passes it to Durant. For Davis. And KD the bucket on the assist from Harden. KD's got four points now in the quarter. This guy a tough cover for any defender. Creative and assertive scoring the ball. Three quarters of play in a close game here. Nets lead by one. We're going to step aside for just a second. But join us right back here for the start of the fourth quarter. Next. Now let's listen in to Frank Vogel's huddle. Okay, our offense will come and go. Okay, our defense has got to be the constant. Okay, we keep getting stops. The way we score the basketball... Yeah, this will be our game. Frank Vogel driving home the idea that defense, not offense, defense is the key to taking control of the game. Yes. 
everything you put into your defense is something within your control. That's why he wants them to focus on that. And with three quarters behind us, we start the fourth quarter in what is still anybody's ballgame. We've got LaMarcus Aldridge, Paul Millsap out there with Ben, and it's Mills, and it's Harden, and it's the one. So that's the lineup for Brooklyn. Burnett's with the lead. Here's Mills. He gets it in there. And you don't want to allow too many of those short ones with the game right now in the balance. Westbrook passes to Davis, and it's Davis finishing it off. Well, Russell Westbrook has excelled at being a facilitator. You love when he's focused on making his teammates better. Mills misses to Harden. Fourth quarter. And he converts the layup. And the Nets lead by three. Well, they're trying to establish their attack down the paint. And make no mistake, these help their overall confidence. To Westbrook. Brooklyn with the rebound. Harden's got his fourth rebound in this one. First, man of the half, the basketball play here in the fourth quarter. Can't hit the free throw line jump. Lakers trail by three. Here's Westbrook. Got a piece of it. Westbrook against Wilson. Now here's Harden. He's guarded close, and he banks in the lane. And this is what great players do. Harden understanding how to deliver in a big moment. Los Angeles calls timeout. They're down by five. 114 left in the fourth quarter. And he's had a very good night shooting the basketball. A little over 50% from the field. And a lot of those shots have come against some tight D. That shows the level of his focus and consistency. Looking at who's out there now for the Nets. Griffin comes in for LaMarcus Aldridge. And it's Kevin Durant in for Paul Milson. And on our sideline, our reporter, David Aldridge. Well, guys, during that last timeout, I listened to Frank Vogel talk to his team. He told them they have to pick it up. He said, there's no time like the present, fellas. Embrace the moment, and let's take back this game. See what they can do, Kevin. Thank you, David. And here's Griffin. He'll bring it up for Brooklyn. Five-point lead, the biggest of the game. KD can't get it to go. Now here's Westbrook, covered by Mills. James outside. Right side, Westbrook. Shoots over Mills. And no good. And Brooklyn will now go the other way with it. And they go to the intentional foul. And now another look at that mobile one block defensive performance. And big defensive plays like that will help them stay in control of this one. Brooklyn has possession. A great fourth quarter. Just giving up two points. And so they foul intentionally. Team second. At the line, shooting for Brooklyn. KD. Stepping the line with two shots. Good on the first, and that increases their lead to six. Well, you're playing right into Kevin Durant's hands when you put him at the free throw line. This guy has always been terrific at the charity strike. 
So he gets them both, and it's a seven-point game. Liquor. Well, it's about the little details. Capitalize at the free-throw line, add to your lead. Timeout called the Lakers. They're trailing by seven. 29 seconds left to play here in the fourth. James, the pass to Davis. Good! Oh, and that cuts the lead to just five. Go get it, big fella. A basket they needed desperately, and Davis delivers in the clutch. You have to foul, but I'm sure they would have liked to foul someone different. At the line, KD. And out the line, shooting two. He hits the first one, and that increases their lead to six. And so he drops them both. It's a seven-point game. I think it's safe to call this one a wrap. Well, it's been a hard-fought battle through much of the night. They just missed out on a couple of opportunities they'd love to do over. Hills with it. So it's the Nets yeah. picking up the win. Probably a little closer than they would have had to, but a win nonetheless. Yeah, but I really got a sense that the fans gave them that emotional boost that was needed down the stretch. This crowd, man, they were electric. Well, a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Hey, Kevin, thank you very much. KD, a great individual performance for you. Game looked easy for you out there. Uh, well, my teammates, you know, they, they play so well tonight, you know, setting everybody up. And I know it was uh, winning time, so I just try to be aggressive. And that aggressiveness led to another win, man. Appreciate your time. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. Great interview once again. And that'll do it, folks. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Alden, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.